So this is what my hair looks like after I shower and let it air dry. It's quite the situation, but anyway, we have a $77 foundation to test out and a new indie eyeshadow palette. So if you guys are interested in hearing my first impression thoughts, then just keep watching. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on YouTube. I feel like I'm doing very important work here in this world because when I first got on YouTube, I had the hardest time finding reviews and swatches on somebody with my skin tone. So I decided to take matters into my own hands and start up a YouTube channel. So if that sounds good to you, highly recommend subscribing. Turning on the bell so you're notified every time I post, and without further blabbering, let's get into it. Okay, y'all, I feel like I have been ordering so many freaking foundations. I still have two more I need to test out after this one, so yeah, hopefully you guys are prepared for a few more testing new makeup videos, but I'm excited because I did go ahead and order the new-ish Christian Louboutin foundation. I feel like it's... A little dark oh we'll see we'll see hopefully it'll be okay but I did buy mine on Nordstrom so I've had really good luck with them if I ever have a problem I can return stuff pretty easily via the mail because I live in bumfuck nowhere so I can't return stuff to the store because we don't have one in my state but I don't know what it was about this one it was giving like the 50s with that Art Deco lid, so I just like had to go for it. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about what the claims are of this foundation. And yeah, then I'm gonna put it on. I even grabbed a brand new beauty sponge so I could test it. And I have it in the shade Ochre Nude, just so you guys know. I feel like I had to do like backflips just to figure out my shade because they do have a swatch picture online but every store that has it it's just a swatch on like legs and that's not even like a problem really it's just that it's hard to shade match that way anyway and I hate when brands like when you click on a shade and then it just shows you like a swatch of the shade it's like I have nothing to compare it to I have no idea I'm not somebody that can look at just a swatch and figure out if that's going to match my skin tone. So that drives me bananas. Let me know if it drives you bananas. But there is a lot of other Christian Louboutin makeup. I've just never been tempted. But after I had such good luck with the Prada foundation, I was like, let me try this. The tan girlies need to know. So this is a matte liquid foundation that slips effortlessly on a light veil that Brings breathable, buildable, perfectly flawless comfort and high coverage. I love that for me. With up to 24 hours of comfortable, no transfer wear and luminous matte finish, this liquid foundation unifies and illuminates. It minimizes the appearance of pores, smooths and softens the complexion, and leaves the skin feeling moisturized. The texture is long lasting without drying and it feels comfortable after application. Thanks to its immediate hydration, this vegan formula is infused with Dermacland Complex, concentrated of precious skin-loving ingredients that actively care for skin. How to use. Apply the foundation all over the face, moving from the center outward. Make sure to blend into the hairline and the jawline for a natural looking finish. For a lighter makeup look with less coverage, use the fingertips instead of a brush moving from the center of the face outward. Use the number system to choose your perfect true match foundation from light to deep and litters to select your undertone. Cool is a C, neutral is an N, or warm is a W. 1.01 ounces and it is a main in Italy. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's any reviews on the Nordstrom website. I guess uh, we'll see, but 77 bucks, so that is big money. I did prime my face with the primer I always use now. Look at this, look at this, I'm not even a primer girly. And I only have a little bit of my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer left, but they did send me one in PR. 
So I'm very, very grateful for that. I'm ready. I've been ready all weekend to try out this foundation. So let's do it. I don't even know. Okay, it is a pump. Oh, the detail, like the detail. I will say this lid does not feel well made at all. The Prada lid, you could take someone out. Well, maybe a tiny mouse, but anyway, the bottle feels nice and heavy. So there's that. I am gonna put some on the back of my hand. I feel like this is a little orange. I don't know. Like I said, I did the best I could, okay? With the limited information I have. <laughs> oh my goodness. It definitely feels a little, a little, a little warm. Uh, it is 9.30 at night when I'm filming this because I don't really get a chance to film during the day anymore on the weekends. Oh, this is so orange. <laughs> but, um... I'm gonna be busy this week, so I don't know that I'll get to film much, but I have a bunch of content I need to edit. So don't think you'll be too short on videos, but you know how it is with YouTube, right? If you don't get stuff posted quickly, it becomes outdated, and I feel like I've been behind for like a month now. But yeah, this is like really warm. What shade did I say I got? Oh, I did pick a warm undertone. So I should see if they have a neutral undertone in like the 50s. Um, it does have like a baby powder fragrance. So keep that in mind. If you are sensitive to smell, it's not anything too offensive, but it's definitely there. I mean, it definitely does have a beautiful like natural matte finish. I can't get over that shade. I can't get over that shade. It's so orange. So this is the side without. This is the side with. I think it looks nice. But I also feel like a rotisserie chicken. So there's that. But let's go ahead and just keep going. Look at how much darker that is than my skin tone. Also, I'm using a Pow Pow sponge. But this is like the bevel shape one. I haven't ordered anything from them in forever from Shop Miss A, but I feel like this is a product that all the YouTubers used to talk about because it's so affordable. And then I think we all got tired of mentioning it because, you know, everybody was onto it. But if you don't know, there's a kind of like a affordable makeup brand or a makeup store called Shop Miss A, and their sponges are so good. You don't need to buy a beauty blender. Honestly, you don't need to buy a beauty blender. I think you get six sponges for like under $10. And they're so soft and they blend so nicely. These have been around for a long time. So they might just be a well-kept secret in the beauty community if you are new to my channel. But I will link it down below in case you guys want to check it out. This is a different shape though. They have one that's a beauty blender like the teardrop shape but this one is beveled so I like that because you could really get into the under eye as well so I really like the finish of this foundation I'm just trying to even out the shade so that I feel like I wasn't putting on as much on my forehead and stuff so I'm just trying to smack it smack it smack it smack it <laughs> I'm just kidding okay so it's Super Bowl Sunday I think you guys might see this on Monday or Tuesday so tell me how you feel if you guys are big fans I do not watch football I feel like I know more than I want to just because I've been watching um, the new Heights podcast only a couple of episodes okay nothing about the football just watching their like episodes with their family members which I've been really enjoying oh this coverage is nice I don't know about the 24 hour claim and full disclosure, I'm probably going to take this makeup off and go to bed. So I'll have to keep you posted on the longevity. But like I said, it's going to be kind of a busy weekend. So I don't have time to film. It's like Valentine's Day. We got soccer on Thursday. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so that is the foundation. Now I also heard from somewhere 
that uh, this Laura Mercier concealer was going viral. I don't know. I have no clue, okay? I do like the foundation. I did buy it pretty recently, so I got the same shade in the concealer. So this is the Laura Mercier Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Concealer in the shade 4N1. So let me go ahead and hop on Sephora and see what the claims are for this concealer because what else are we gonna do? Okay, so first of all, this concealer retails for $33. It says it's a weightless serum infused multitasking concealer that quickly brightens, hydrates, and smooths while providing medium coverage, up to 16 hours of wear time, and a natural finish. Okay, cool. So it says Hydrolipid Matrix delivers immediate and time released hydration throughout the day. Paracerasis extract firms and smooths the look and feel of skin. Green tea and cocoa extract is an antioxidant rich formula, defense against environmental stresses. Oh my gosh, yes, my under eyes really need that. Infused with 85% skincare ingredients, this crease proof cake free formula immediately conceals under eyes, circles, redness, imperfection, and dark spots. It's clinically shown to improve the look of bare skin instantly and over time while reducing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles because we hate wrinkles because we can't age in America. Oh my God, I'm really starting to look orange, aren't I? Oh my gosh. I need to return this foundation stat, y'all. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm just gonna go like full, full conceal. I don't, Robert Bush, I love you, but I don't have time. The under eyes are, I can't take myself seriously. I look straight oompa loompa, okay? No offense to anybody that has a skin tone. It's just not mine. It's just not my skin tone. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is bad. This is so bad. I can't believe this is the same shade as the foundation I bought because I feel like the foundation doesn't look this light on me. And she did swatch it on me in the store, but of course I know the store lighting at Sephora is notoriously bad. And I do have like a mixer foundation because I have the house labs, the white shade, so I could use it. But I think I just, for $77, I feel like I cannot justify looking this orange. You know what I mean? Okay, so... It feels pretty dried down, so I don't want to set this right away. Let me pop on some brow product and throw on my eyeshadow primer, and then we'll be back to talk about the eyeshadow palette I'm going to play with today. Okay, y'all, so the eyeshadow palette we're trying out today is the beautiful Fly Fiddles palette from Adept Cosmetics, and... This is totally giving me like Victoria's Secret push-up bra, I don't know. Or maybe like, do you guys remember those dresses? You'd have like a satin white like under part and then there's like black lace and then it's like a black like high-waisted skirt, but it was all one piece. It's totally giving me like 2000s, I don't know, me being in college trying to put on a cute dress and go out with my friends I don't, I don't know I don't know I don't hate it but it's it's an interesting choice for sure but this is what the palette looks like honestly it reminds me so much of my Natasha Denona gold palette I feel like I need to go grab it so we can just look at it side by side I'm not gonna do like swatches and stuff but let's just go grab it quick Okay, so I'm not saying these are like dead on dupes or anything, but I feel like if you weren't in the era of the Natasha Denona Gold Palette on YouTube or just like as a content creator, obviously Adept's going to do it better because there's way more like duochromes in here, but it's giving me Gold Palette, y'all. So let me know what you think because every time I tell somebody I think a palette looks like a certain other palette... I feel like people are pretty quick to shut me down as unbiased consumers. 
in my comment section, let me know. Do you see it or am I crazy? Totally fine. I won't be offended. Okay, so I have swatches and close-ups of the palette. So let's go ahead and get into that. So this is $62 even and it is in stock, it says, on the Adept website right now. I do have an affiliate discount code with Adept Cosmetics. It's KH Makeup. It says, this is the neutral palette many of you asked for years ago. It took a while to come to fruition because it takes about a year and a half to make great quality cosmetic products. So it says this palette is named after the Siberian iris with a muted grungy twist. Contains four pigmented but blendable mattes, one multi-chrome, four shimmery duochromes, and six shimmers. Okay, so Adept has a ton of information on their website. So if you want to find out ingredients, shipping, they even have affiliate codes on their website. So you can go on there and take a look. But I am ready. I'm going to do two different eye looks because, like I said, full transparency, I'm going to take this makeup off after I get done filming this because it is now almost 10 o'clock at night. I've been just gabbing to you guys. So let's go ahead and put an eye look on. I am feeling really inspired by the look I did with Annette's Mighty Monster palette for her new Odin's Eye collab. So I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to put Green Kelly on the outer corner of one of these eye looks. I was like, I mean, come on. So I'm just going to create my little faux cat eye moment. The mattes definitely swatch like a dream, so I'm expecting perfection with these. Next, I'm taking a sigma brush and going into the shade called Tan Toffee Rose. And I'm just going to run that into the crease. Okay, I'm just going to leave it like that. I will fix whatever I need to fix later. Okay, so for the lid, I wanted to use a shade called Rust Bunny. It is a really cool like peachy green grungy shade so let's try that out on the lid just trying to see like the different color combinations because I know a lot of people four mattes isn't a lot so I just want to see like how versatile the shades are and I know somebody will create like the most beautiful all shimmer look with this palette and I probably could too, but realistically, I don't always want to wear all shimmer looks, so it's a pretty shade. I don't know which shade is the multi-chrome in this palette, actually. I should have seen if they mentioned that on the website. I mean, this one looks like it could be a multi-chrome, but I hate saying things are multi-chromes unless I know for sure. Because I would hate for somebody to be misinformed based off of what I say. Um, but I think I'm going to take this shade called Daylily and put a little bit of it in my crease as well. The only thing with that teal shade is like I'm like it's a little bit on its own like I feel like it could have used a friend to hang out with. It could have used another colorful matte, but I get it. It's a neutral palette. But like in the gold palette, we've got like a really pretty mustard shade. And I think those two pair really well together. So, hmm. I definitely like the look I did with the Annette palette better, but of course I had a lot more colorful matte options there. This shade, um, let me try my finger actually with the, oh yeah, that's a little bit better. I think the flat brush was stifling the sparkles <laughs> of this shade. I don't know if I'm 100% sold on that look actually, but it's fine, you know, we're just trying it out. So let's go ahead and work on this eye and then I'll finish both of them and we'll talk some more. But yeah, let me go ahead and just do 
a simple neutral look on this eye so I can see if Adept delivered on their claim for a neutral palette. Okay, so for the neutral look, I'm gonna start again with Daylily and I'm gonna put that on the outer corner. I've gotten pretty used to starting with the darker shade I'm gonna use. Um, I just think it helps me. This is almost like a burgundy shade actually. It looks brown, but now that I'm like blending it, I can see like the red to it. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool shade. I also really like how it blended. And then I'm gonna take the shade called Sahara, which is the kind of like chocolatey brown. I'm just gonna put that like on the lid and keep blending keeping that kind of in the middle half of the crease. And then I still want to use a shade called Tan Toffee Rose. I'm not going to clean my brush off. I'm just going to go in with that shade and just gonna, ooh, this is pretty. Okay. So pigmented. Definitely kind of like a neutral grungy palette for sure. So if you're afraid of dark mattes, hopefully you have some other ones lying around that you want to play with. Okay, so what do we want to use on the lid? I kind of want to use this blue-brown shade. I said I was going to do a neutral look, but let's just twist it up. So blue crown, or we could do a pompon button. Ooh, yellow brownie is cute too. Let's do a blue crown because I feel like that's kind of unexpected. I feel like I always go with like the obvious choice and I wanna try something different. So let's just pick it up. We'll start on the outer corner. Ooh, that's pr okay, I love that. With that combo, that's cute. I've almost finished up my Rare Beauty setting spray that I've been using to wet my eyeshadows. It's actually shocking how long it takes to finish up a setting spray, isn't it? If you're only using it to wet your eyeshadows. I just don't like this Rare Beauty setting spray as a actual setting spray, so that's what I do with the ones that I don't love. Okay, that's pretty. Let's mix it up. Should we try Daffodil on the inner half? It's like a yellowy gold shade. I think that could be a fun pop. I'm just going in with the same brush. Ooh, cute. It's like a pretty yellow, yellow gold. Finger. Okay, I feel like Daffodil kind of took over blue crown there for a second, but it's all right, it's all right. Okay, so the two looks are done. Let's go ahead and zhuzh them up with some eyeliner and stuff. I do have the new Blend Bunny Omni Lash Mascara to try out. So let's go ahead and try it out. Okay, so I did just go ahead and run the shade Green Kelly on the lower lash line on this eye and then the shade Daylily on the lower lash line of this eye. And then I use yellow browning in the inner corner. It actually has a beautiful green shift to it. So, you know, it is what it is. I don't necessarily think it matches like 100% with each of the eye looks, but I'm sure it's giving it a good pop of color. So let's go ahead and try the new Blend Money Mascara, which I am so excited about because I believe this is basically the price of a drugstore mascara. I mean, it's an indie brand mascara that's a drugstore price, which I think is crazy bananas, but I swear that Panorama L'Oreal mascara is like 12 bucks at Target, I think, and this one is 13. So let's go ahead and go on the Blend Bunny site. So this is basically marketed as just a good mascara. We know most mascaras promise outlandish things, but Omni Lash just promises to be a good mascara that will do what we all want a good mascara to do, adding some volume, staying power, lengthening, and separating your lashes, and accentuating what you've got. 
all while being affordable. So yeah, that is so cool. $13. I also have a discount code with Blend Money. It's KH Makeup. So basically, it's going to be a drugstore price mascara once you're done using my coupon. So this is what the packaging is like. It is so cute. It is like a black to white ombre with pink lettering. And I'm so excited now. I don't know if this is going to work on my bottom lash, but we're going to try it. So let's give it a little curl because I always curl my lashes. And I'm just going to grab my little handheld mirror. So yeah, this is a first impression. Pretty much everything that I'm trying out here is a first impression. So it's got a bit of an hourglass shape to it. It's very slight. So let me try it on the lower lash line quick. I usually just use the Wet n Wild mascara on my lower lash line. Because of the shape, I'm having a hard time getting to my lower lash line with this brush. So I'm just gonna use the Wet n Wild mascara that I always use for my lower lashes. This just has a tiny skinny brush and just lets me get closer to my lash line and coat my lashes. But now let's go ahead and try this on the top lash. So I'll just do one eye first, just so we can see. So I like to get really close to my lash line, kind of wiggle my brush through. It's separating my lashes well. I'm trying to go slow because I always like rush through things and I end up like smacking my eye with the brush so okay definitely gave it some lift definitely gave it some definition so we'll see my lashes are sticking together a little bit more than I want them to but I'll just fluff them out with the brush so here is one eye with one coat and then this is just my lashes I don't have the worst lashes in the world. I have a decent amount of lashes, but I feel like mascara definitely helps. So I typically try not to leave the house without it. So let's go ahead and apply some on this eye now and see what it does. It's doing good, it's doing good. I do feel like I need some more layers, so let's go in. Do this eye now and do a second layer. It's really separating my lashes quite well. I also think it's a really nice like jet black shade, so that's a plus. Okay, do we know who won the Super Bowl yet or are they still playing? I haven't been on my phone in a while, so. Okay, so I guess Usher was really good. So are they still playing? <laughs> Sweet. Okay. Who won Super Bowl? Did it just finish? Oh, cute. So they did win. Okay, okay. I mean, whatever people say. They won the Super Bowl, I guess. That's cool. I can't wait to see the podcast. <laughs> okay, I just was trying so hard to be um, not fast with the mascara application. And I still got some on my face. So I gotta wait for that to dry before I try to get it off with a Q-tip. But yeah, the lashes look lifted. Time for some blush. I do have a new blush. I was gonna do... A dedicated ish video to this collection but I don't think I'm gonna have time so this is from Florasis they sent me their nomadic glam collection and I believe this is a cream blush in the shade peony dream so we're gonna apply it because the longer I wait the less time I have to use this so yeah I'm gonna try it out in this oh that did not feel like a cream I went in girls I went in. This is, this does not feel like a cream blush. Oh, it's like, okay, it, I, well, 
I've never felt something like this before because it definitely feels more powdery than I thought. But it's also like really soft. So I don't know. I think it's a powder blush. Am I crazy? I feel like since this foundation shade is off, nothing has been going well for me. Okay, so I don't know on what planet this is considered a cream blush, but it's not feeling like a cream blush to me. Maybe it's some like hybrid situation, but for me, it definitely felt like a powder. Okay, I don't have a new highlighter to try out, so let's just use this Adept highlighter from these face palettes they came out with a while ago. I feel like I never get around to using these, so might as well do it in an Adept video, or at least a video where I'm talking about their products. But such a pretty highlight, so natural. I should really dig into that more. Now I do have a lip stain from the Nomadic Glam Collection, so I'm just gonna go ahead and try it. I really liked these stains from Fluorasis because they did send me a few because I got some PR from them, I think last year. And they're so lightweight and beautiful. And they're not like drying, but they have like that beautiful velvety matte finish to them. So this lippy also has that same comfy feeling. I'm not mad at it at all. So yeah, the look is done. It's time to spray my face, do something with this hair, and put on some earrings. And I'll be right back to give you guys some of my thoughts on this makeup I tried out today. Okay, friends, so let's pretend I straightened my entire head of hair, which I'm not about to do because I'm about to go to sleep and I'm gonna wake up with it looking like this anyway. But just look beyond that, look at the makeup. What do we think? Let me know down below. Let's go ahead and talk about my thoughts on all the new makeup I just tested today. Let's start off with the lip stain. I think this is beautiful. Again, just a beautiful soft lip stain. I will say I'm still confused by the blush. I really thought that I was digging into a cream blush. I even used the cinch brush that is meant for cream products. I don't know, you guys tell me, maybe I should have read up on it. I didn't do my homework on this, but it is a beautiful shade. I don't know if they have more shades of blush in this collection, but I will link the Fluorasis website down below in case you guys are interested. Blend Bunny Mascara, I think this is so cool. I don't feel like a lot of indie brands do mascara. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is cute. I can't wait to try it some more. I think my lashes look great. I don't always wear, actually I barely ever wear false lashes. So I feel like I have decent lashes. I feel like I don't expect too much from mascara. So um, yeah, I feel like I'm still always disappointed by most mascaras and I feel like I've been on a mascara journey recently. So I really like, let me show you some of the ones that I have that I like. I like this Huda one. I think this is getting discontinued though. This is pretty old, but I like it. It's a legit lash and then I've been enjoying this Panorama mascara from L'Oreal. But like I said, that one was $12 at Target and I'm sure if you use an affiliate code, the Blend Money one will probably be around that price. So I will be stocking up whenever I get a chance on the Blend Bunny Mascara. So next, let's talk about this concealer. I thought it was okay. It wasn't blowing my mind. I need to try it some more, also with a foundation that works with me. I have recently been trying the L'Oreal True Match Concealer and the Fenty Wear Even Concealer, and I will say, the drugstore one's actually my favorite. I feel like it just does something to my under eyes. It just looks so good. I don't know if I'm delusional or not, but I've worn this now, I think three times, and it's been really great. So I'm excited about the potential this mascara has for me, and it's kind of putting these high-end ones to shame. So let me know if you've tried the True Match. I think I'm just like late to the party with that one, but I was perusing Walmart and I saw it. I was like, well, let me try it. So I did, and I actually really enjoy it. I feel like I'm about to get crucified in the comments, but I don't know if it's a foundation, but it's just making me hate this palette. Like, 
I don't know, I just don't love the colors I chose. I think that might be it because I did see other influencers had created really great looks with this palette. So I know the potential is there. I think I just kind of messed up on what shades I was picking out. I will say I love the mattes in this palette. I used every single one. They felt so creamy, so blendable, so, so nice. So I'm excited about that. I think there's some beautiful shimmers in this palette. I just feel like they could have kicked out one more shimmer to give us a nice matte that would go with this shade because I feel like it's kind of hanging out by itself over there. And I could try and blend it all the way into my crease, but I feel like it's such a deep green that it would basically be like, I guess, a green smoky eye. I guess I could try it. I don't know. I don't know, but I was thrown off by the shade and I feel like the shimmers aren't as shimmery as I was hoping they would be. So it could be that I just sprayed them and I didn't use like a glitter glue, but I always do that. So yeah, I'm still going to need to ponder on this one. I feel like I, I'm just unsure. The shimmers just don't have that like creamy feeling that I really love. So I'm going to need to try this palette some more and keep you guys updated. And then of course the most disappointing purchase was the Christian Louboutin foundation. Honestly, I think it looks beautiful, but I feel like it's just a little bit too warm for me. I don't know why I didn't grab a neutral shade, but like I mentioned at the start of this video, I was having a hard time color matching myself. So yeah, I mean, I can see it, but I know with my camera, sometimes it honestly just like makes everything look really good. So yeah, jury's still out on that one. I think I need to go look and see what other shades they might have and do some kind of return situation. So I will keep you guys posted in a upcoming video on that. So that is it for testing new makeup episode number four. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what products you were interested in in this video. I love chatting to you guys and I will see you in another video very, very soon. Bye friends.